Greetings. Welcome to Finding and Evaluating AOER, Identifying Sources of and Support for AOER. My name is Dr. Megan Lowe. I am the Director of University Libraries at Northwestern State University of Louisiana. I am located at the main campus of Northwestern, which is located in Natchitoches. My home library is Watson Memorial Library. I am also the OER content expert for the UL system. I have been involved in the open access movement for many years, which led me into open education resources, OER, about a decade ago. Since then, I've been involved with the OER at the institutional and state levels. I obtained my doctorate in 2022, and I did my dissertation on faculty perceptions of AOER. Please note that this presentation is an adaptation of a presentation by Abby Elder and is licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike license. Abby Elder based her presentation on a collection of other resources which are included here. This presentation is actually an excellent example of an open education resource. There is no need to reinvent the wheel when you can stand on the shoulders of giants. One of the biggest complaints at the outset of the OER movement was the inability to find OER. Now it's phrased a bit different. There's so much, how do you go about finding the right resource for your needs? The realities of searching. One of the earliest complaints about OER was that there simply weren't that many available. While that complaint still holds water in some corners, certain disciplines, certain education levels, and other corners, that is most certainly no longer the case. Our old friend Google is good at many things, but it's not always great at helping discover OER. Between all of these points, discovering OER can be difficult and overwhelming. There's so much out there that it can be hard to know where to start. Additionally, regarding Affordable Education Resources, or AER, since those are often located in databases or online catalogs, they are not freely available on the web. The key here is the key to any good search when attempting to find resources, optimizing the searching process, making the search process effective. Step one, identify your keywords, your discipline, level, type of resource wanted or needed. Search broadly. Repositories like Affordable Learning Lewis, Oasis, Open Textbook Library, OpenStax, and even Google and Google Scholar. Number three, start general and then get specific. Filter results using different parameters. Number four, take advantage of curated lists. Working smarter, not harder. Number five, Curate content. Evaluate what you found in terms of relevancy, accuracy, quality, accessibility, and licensing. Number six, reflect and repeat. Did you find materials that fit your needs? One tool that can help you in the process is the OER Treasure Hunt Worksheet. Much in the same way we have students evaluate resources for the research paper, this worksheet can help you in the process of identifying possible OER and even AER for your courses. Abby Elder adapted this from Spark, and it can be adapted and modified for your needs. It could even be used as an assignment with your students. A link to the Google Doc is included in the resources of this slide deck. OER repositories are a good place to start. The benefits of searching OER repositories mean that when you search an OER repository, you can find faster results and conduct a more productive search. Resources have been curated and organized into various categories, including discipline, format, and open license. Many repositories have either peer reviews or a rating scale where users have shared their perception or experience with the resource. And as always, there's no need to reinvent the wheel. Search tips for the repositories, or generally speaking, in terms of finding AOER, include accessing different repositories and continuing checking because they're always growing and being updated. Be sure to use their filters to refine, like date, material type, 
and switch up your search terms. Use synonyms and broader or narrower search terms. Use Boolean operators and or and not to boost the power of your search. And look for smaller pieces of content or weekly topics, such as chapters, ancillary materials, etc. Keep a record of your results. Know when to stop searching. Don't frustrate yourself. Sometimes the perfect OER just doesn't exist. You may need to think about adapting or creating an OER, selecting an affordable education resource, or using a library resource. You may find a lot. Look at all these titles on the screen. They're all related to pre-calculus, and this is just a sampling. There are many more out there. Or not so much. This image is a search from OASIS, an ebook repository. I conducted a search on the term pharmacokinetics, and these five hits were all I found. The oldest title on this list is from 2012. The newest title is from 2019. In some disciplines, currency may not matter. In others, it most certainly will. You may find next to nothing. The title featured on this slide is about the only sight singing title one may find in terms of OER currently. I'll talk more about Lewis and Affordable Learning Louisiana or ALL later in this presentation, but I wanted to highlight that Lewis and Affordable Learning Louisiana do have an OER Commons repository. The great thing about their OER Commons is that those resources align with the Louisiana State Common Course Catalog. It also facilitates the creation of OER by Louisiana educators. Many of the resources produced thanks to the grants Lewis has won for OER have been placed in the OER Commons. So once you find OER, how do you evaluate them? It's important to evaluate as quality can still sometimes be an issue, and one does not wish to use inappropriate resources. One what does wish to ensure that one is selecting the right resource for your needs. Evaluation can be based on rubrics, of course, review processes, aka peer review, and your individual needs. In fact, it couldn't hurt to consider a combo or all three of these domains when evaluating a potential OER in the wild, that is, not necessarily in a vetted OER repository. There are several pre-existing rubrics available. The one on the slide is from the Open Textbook Library, but the others are just as useful. The basic elements to consider in evaluation though this is by no means an exhaustive list, include content coverage, alignment with your course, accessibility, inclusivity, and formats available. You might also consider currency, accuracy, adaptability, and clarity or comprehensibility. Other review processes. Unlike commercial textbooks, many open textbooks undergo peer review by subject matter experts. Other review processes may include user reviews posted in repositories like the Open Textbook Library. These are often written by faculty who have used the text, but sometimes students too. And reviews by an organizations like the American Institute of Mathematics. But going back to Affordable Learning Louisiana and Lewis. If you aren't familiar with Lewis, it is the statewide academic library consortium featuring 48 member institutions and libraries representing two year and four year public and private and special institutions. Begun in the late 1990s at LSU, Lewis is now under the auspices of the Board of Regents. All institutions within the UL system are members of Lewis. And through Lewis, libraries acquire resources in more cost-effective ways through cooperative procurement. It also supports professionals working in libraries throughout the state through professional development. Lewis also coordinates many affordable learning programs in the state through Affordable Learning Louisiana. 
Most of the electronic databases and resources accessible through your libraries are acquired through Lewis. These resources include a variety of periodicals and journals, ebooks, and other resources. Consequently, you have access to all kinds of affordable education resources through Lewis. The list shown here on the screen is for Northwestern, but it's representative of what all Lewis libraries have access to. All of these resources represent potential AER. This is a screen grab from the Lewis Affordable Learning Louisiana website that provides an overview of what Lewis is currently engaged with in terms of AOER. Lewis coordinates a lot of AOER, AOER efforts in the state. You can see federally funded dual enrollment OER, which was from a $3 million grant, the Lewis OER Commons Faculty Cohort Project, the Act 125 textbook adoptions, the Lewis OER Commons, helping faculty select ebooks, the Open Education Network, and the Course Transformation Program. But two more tools that you can use, thanks to Lewis, include CloudSource OA and Blue Cloud Course Lists. You don't have to do anything to take advantage of CloudSource OA. It's already integrated into your library systems. This is what it looks like for university libraries at Northwestern State University. This is the main search page, and you can see where I've typed in calculus. Again, you don't have to do anything to take advantage of CloudSource OA. It's already integrated into your library systems. This is what it looks like in the results list at Northwestern State University. You can see the tab marked CloudSource OA. Blue Cloud Course Lists takes a little more effort. It's a plugin that they call a bookmarklet that works with most learning management systems, including Moodle and Canvas. You already have access to this resource. It just takes making sure that the plugin is enabled on the back end. Course Lists hasn't been fully integrated into the Canvas installations in the UL system yet, but we wanted to make y'all aware that it will be coming soon. Look out for programming later in the year. Here are some of the resources referred to in this presentation. They include how to get started with the OER Starter Kit, a link to the Treasure Hunt Worksheet, um, more tips for searching, information on Lewis and Affordable Learning Louisiana, and the Lewis OER Commons. Additional resources include the Open Textbook Library rubric, the BC Campus rubric, and the Open Oregon Faculty Checklist for evaluating course materials. This is not just for OER, but can be used in that capacity as well. Like I said before, you have me. If you have questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. The best way to reach me is through email. My email is l-o-w-e-m-e -E at n-s-u-l-a dot e-d-u. Thanks for your attention today.